Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Essence and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer to share with you some of the music and most of the composers are composers of our own time, but some are of the past, like today, one of the great composers of England, Henry Purcell. Born in 1659, died in 1695. He didn't start composing until he was nine. And he went on from there. Anthems, music for plays, music for royalty. He was the organist at the Chapel Royal and also at Westminster Abbey and is buried at, he, he is, and is buried at Westminster Abbey right near the big pipe organ. You probably know him best for a melody that Benjamin Britten took from a suite called Abdelazer, and this theme, which became the theme that was used for his Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, is this. and then goes on from there. Well, he also, of course, is thought by many people, but it's not true, that he wrote this. But the next time you hear that and someone says, oh, that's by personal, you can just say, I'm very sorry, but it's actually by Jeremiah Clark. And I'm sure they will be impressed. So he wrote lots of wonderful festive music. Here's a little bit of a jubilate deo, the opening for trumpet and a solo alto. So you can hear the trumpet play and the alto and they go back and forth in a little duet. Jubilate deo. wonderful festive music. His music is heard at royal occasions in England all the time. Now, another piece that he wrote is uh, a, a setting, uh, it was called, O God, Thou Art My God, from the Psalms. And at the end of it comes a part of it that uh, was written for choir going back. You know, in those English cathedrals, you had one choir on this side, and you have one choir on the other side, so they might sing and then the other one would sing, going back and forth and then coming together. And so one of the pieces begins with the choir on one side singing. And then the other side. And the first side, and the second, and then together. Well, that familiar melody was then taken and arranged that it could be sung by congregations. And so today we have, and we've done this many times at Plymouth Church, and I'm sure you've heard it elsewhere, his melody set to the words from the Latin of the seventh century, Christ is made the sure foundation. Mm -hmm. 
so all of this wonderful music of Purcell, very much a part of our own time. Uh, I would also say though, however, he wrote many beautiful songs. And one of the songs of, about many was one called O Solitude. And I thought the best way to hear this beautiful piece, it's a, uh, an English song that he wrote in around 1685 and was uh, set to words of the English poet Catherine Phillips. And the text, O Solitude, it's a wonderful kind of word painting, but what happens with it is that the accompaniment, it's kind of like what you would think about in our own time with a jazz piece where you might have eight measures and you can repeat it and do things on top of it. And so you would have just this melody. And that would go over and over while things happen above it with the voice. Well, you don't want me singing that, but you do want Maria Jetty to join me and we're going to have this wonderful piece of Henry Purcell, O oh, Solitude, my sweetest choice, O oh, Solitude, my sweetest choice, places devoted to the night. Thank you. 
Music of Henry Purcell, sung by Maria Jetty. Have a wonderful day. All alone. All alone.